Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Leader to Leader. My name is Jeff Strauss, and in this episode, I'm very excited to talk about the classic adventure and leadership story, Endurance, by Alfred Lansing. My friend Mike Palladino shared this book with me about two years ago or so, and it has become one of my favorite books uh, to reference, not only because of the excite exciting nature of the of the story it's a true story and it is a phenomenal adventure um, but also because some of the leadership takeaways from the book and i'll relate one of the things that i think is really important about uh, these leadership skills that are apparent in endurance and how that relates to my own leadership practice i'm going to go into a little bit of that detail but first let's talk a little bit about the book So Endurance is the story written by Alfred Lansing of Ernest Shackleton and his uh, captaining of the Endurance, which was a ship that he was going to take on an Arctic expedition. Uh, There had been other Arctic expeditions in the past, but they were unsuccessful. He wanted to go further than anybody ever had. um, And... The story that resulted is one of uh, adventure, misadventure, struggle, um, achievement. I mean, just it runs the gamut of emotions. It's crazy. I'm just going to say it like that. It's crazy. This book reads like a movie. It's really fast. There are, it's all a true account, by the way. True account, right? There's no embellishments. It's It has uh, photographs of the actual event that took place. Essentially what happened was Shackleton and his crew were going on an Arctic expedition and they get stuck in an ice floe. So I'm not gonna give away the story because I highly, highly encourage you to buy this book. Um, The link is in the description of this video and it is just, it is incredible. If nothing else, just for the read, to, to, to read about Uh, The story of human achievement, the human will to survive, the will to overcome obstacles, discipline, and perseverance, It's and quite quite honestly, endurance. It's really a fascinating read. So Shackleton and his crew get stuck in an ice floe, and the resulting story of them sticking together as a crew all the way through to the end of their story, Um, and I'm not giving anything away by saying that, and again, I highly encourage you to get this book and uh, read the story for yourself, is just fascinating. It's fascinating, it's exciting, I couldn't believe it. I was talking to my wife when I was reading, I was like, I I can't believe this book. Um, I can't believe it's actually real. And Lansing, the author, does a great job, um, you know, it's a real page turner. He does a great job keeping the reader engaged. It's full of adventure, Um, just a a wonderful book uh, for the merits of the book itself. Now, for some of the leadership qualities of the book. There are many of them, right? Setting a vision, keeping people aligned, um, keeping people, um, keeping people uh, energized and enthusiastic about the mission, um, you know, uh, keeping people together as a team, as a, as, a, as a single unit with a shared objective. All of these things are apparent in the book and in Shackleton's leadership of his crew. I'll tell you one interesting thing that I love to mention about this book, and it relates to me very closely and my leadership practice very closely. So I'm very thankful that one of the qualities of my leadership practice that I am known for is hiring good people. And I'll just take a moment to thank everybody that's ever been on a team that I led because you have been a huge part of our shared success. And, you know, you deserve all the credit. I I happen to be known for hiring strong teams and building strong teams, but it's to the credit of the individuals on those teams that actually help, you know, make make it happen. And I tend to look for two qualities. And I I look for more qualities. I learned my mom used to say things like, we don't say no, we say no problem. And now that's been a thing that I say in my professional life quite frequently. Um, another one I like to say, this one is mine now, is I like to say I hire double A candidates, double A like the battery. 
I hire candidates for their attitude and their aptitude, right? It's less about what skill set they currently have. It is important to me that a baseline skill set is present, but it's less important to me than the individual having the right attitude and the aptitude to learn and apply lessons in the role on the job. Those two things, attitude and aptitude, are extremely important to me. And if you go to my website, jeffstrauss.net, in the boot camp section, you can find a presentation I gave at a Linux Foundation conference um, a couple of years ago on building diverse and inclusive interview environments for candidates. And I use some of the techniques and strategies in that presentation that I gave to hire strong people. Um, so I highly recommend you check that out. If you are in charge of building a strong team and that is a leadership competency that is correlated with performance and success is building teams, um, I highly recommend you check out that presentation and also read this book because of what I'm about to say. So one of the things I loved about Endurance and Shackleton's building of his crew for his expedition was how he built his team. And one part of that sticks out to me so much. There's a section, there's a describes how Shackleton is interviewing people on his voyage, on his ship, on the endurance. And you know, he's hiring, I don't know all the positions on a ship, but he, you know, he's hiring this person who has this skill set to, you know, run the mainsail or whatever. And he's hiring this person over here who's an expert at knots, and this person is an expert navigator, etc. Well, there's one person that he brings onto the onto the expedition that doesn't have any skill sets whatsoever. No boating real, no really real boating or maritime skill sets. But he hires that person onto the crew because of that person's attitude and his ability, Shackleton identifies his ability to mesh well with the rest of the personalities on the boat. And I think that that is, so, there, there also happens to be a stowaway on the boat. The rest of the story is very interesting, but I really loved that little snippet of information that came out. That stood out to me so much because it's, I, I recognize that in some of my own hiring practices. I have hired people onto teams of mine that have had very little skill in my domain and they have risen through the ranks because of their attitude and their aptitude to be very successful in their careers. Um, I've also hired people who have had very rudimentary skill sets in a particular domain and over time have developed those skill sets and moved into like moved through uh, into a different career path um, because of the skills that they were able to learn uh, on teams that I've led um, and full credit to them for for actually being able to do that I provided the environment right like uh, leaders are like gardeners we don't grow the plants, but we create the environment in which the plants can grow. And so I'm very proud that I was able to create environments where these individuals were allowed to thrive, but the thriving was because of them, their attitudes and aptitudes. And so that's one of the things I really pulled away from this, from the partnership strategy was, yeah, let's just get people on this boat. It doesn't matter if they're the most skilled or the least skilled, let's get people And even though they may not have all of the skills necessary at this particular moment, will they be able to acquire them? And if so, okay, let's get them on the expedition. I think that's really important. Um, and again, that presentation that I have on creating diverse and inclusive hiring, um, hiring panels and hiring strategies, talk a little bit about some non-traditional ways to tease out aptitude from from candidates beyond just a traditional interview setting and again i do use some of those techniques and strategies to assess candidates for my own teams so 
Check out Endurance, highly recommend. The link is in the description below. Uh, check out my website, jeffstrauss.net. There's a lot of resources on there. There's writing on there, there's videos on there. There are these reviews, these leader to leader stories that inspire reviews on there. And if you like this content, give it a like, give it a subscribe. You can be notified whenever I drop another video or make another presentation. That's really helpful to me. Feel free to subscribe to my Substack. The link is in my website, jeffstrauss.net, or you can go to jeffstrauss.substack.com. Um, you know, it's very inspiring to me when I see, oh, you got another subscriber. It really like helps, you know, people like, like to read it. Great, I wanna write it. Um, so it's very helpful to me. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go out and get endurance. Again, highly recommend. I appreciate you sitting through another leader to leader stories that inspire. Thanks so much.